Oh man, they're into it. Look, you haven't even played a note, man. Okay, here we go. Oh man, they're going nuts. Woo! Giant Stadium, just seconds before the climax of what may be the most improbable underdog story in rock history. Lips, tell me how you're feeling right now. What is tonight to you? Probably one of the biggest moments of my life. To even begin to grasp what an enormous moment this is for these two aging metalheads, you need to go back more than 30 years. Steve Lips Cudlow and Rob Reiner met as teenagers in suburban Toronto and bonded over heavy metal. The story is that when you were 14 years old, you made a deal? That's is, right. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. What was the deal? Until we make it forever. For a while, the Rock Together Forever deal was going reasonably well. In the early 80s, their band, Anvil, released a series of influential metal albums and toured Japan with bands like Bon Jovi, The Scorpions, and Whitesnake. But while those other bands went on to sell millions of albums, Anvil somehow never made it. They should have made it a lot bigger, and I don't really understand the reason why. Sometimes life deals you a, a tough deck. Flash forward to 2004, and Lips is delivering school lunches for a living. The way I look at it really is that it could never be worse than what it already is. That same year, 2004, Lips and Rob were contacted by someone they hadn't seen in 20 years, someone named Sasha Gervaisi, who at age 15 had sneaked into an Anvil show in London. And I went right up to Rob and I said, I'm Sasha, I'm your number one Anvil fan in England. Rob and Lips took Sasha under their wing. He went out on the road with them the following summer. But gradually, they lost touch. In the interim, Sasha had become a Hollywood screenwriter, and when he heard Anvil were still at it, he decided to make a movie. I sat him down and I said, listen man, I don't know what it is yet, but I just have this feeling that I'm going to make this movie about, you know, him and Rob, I'm going to make this movie about your band, and I'm going to make the movie about two best friends who never gave up on something they really believed in, you know. The film captures these two best friends during their single-minded pursuit of their childhood dream, starting with a disastrous tour through Europe. Anyway, the place is, is jammed and packed. The movie captures Lips borrowing money from his older sister to record the band's 13th record, captures the two best friends having explosive fights during the recording process, their shared disappointment when record labels turn them down. This is not good. And the growing doubts of their families. If it's over, then you've got to find something else to do. Earlier this year, the movie was released to ecstatic reviews and became an underground hit. Sometimes the band even played live shows right after the movie was screened, which generated enormous reaction. This is the Rocky, Rocky Balboa of heavy metal. That's what it is. Because of the movie, Anvil's career has taken off. We recently followed Rob and Lips through Manhattan as they were interviewed by Billboard magazine, toasted at VH1. See you guys. And bossed around by publicists. You really gotta go. Anvil now has a record deal. Great man, I can't wait to get a copy of it. A new manager and exponentially more fans. This is seriously awesome. You guys are great. All thanks to their long-lost fan and friend, Sasha Gervaisi. Thank you. <laughs> Just a few weeks ago, Sasha got to watch his favorite band savor their heaviest achievement yet, opening for the biggest metal band on Earth, ACDC. Get on the stage, man. Woo! It was the largest show they have ever played, and the crowd ate it up. Dude, that was amazing. How do you feel? I'm on top of the world, man. It's Awesome. I'm high on life. It's beautiful, man. But Lips and Rob say they won't be satisfied until they're headlining. So you, there's no sense of lowering your ambitions at this point. You still want to go all the way. Even all the way, even farther. You want to take it as far as you can, man. Oh, yeah. The limits and beyond. Get it all the way there. I want to rock the world. Nah. For Nightline, this is Dan Harris in New York.